Well, what are we fixing today? Today, I'm going to ask the question that's been on your minds. Have you missed birdhouses? Because we are back home in my creepy basement. And guess what I have to work on? Some more springtime crafty birdhouses. You know, we're taking junk that was broken, free, otherwise intended for other things, we're turning them into birdhouses. So, kind of like we, we've been doing. We did that with the uh, helmets. Those are going pretty good. Get that with the boots. Now we're going to do that with other birdhouses that people have abandoned. So, in order to do that, I need to make, make, make some wood. So let's do that. Ready, set, go. Well, here's my planer, 12 inch Delta planer. And the way the planer works, it has some wheels down in here. It grabs the wood and pulls it through. And some blades up on top here to grind it up and throw it out. And then in the back here, uh, I bought this. I didn't, somebody made this, but uh, I bought it with this on it. There's a catcher, goes to this, and this I put on there. This is my uh, suction hose back up to my uh, chips collector. So, what we have over here are some wood. There's a wood with some sayings on it that I'm not going to use anymore because where are we going to find a wedding that needs a sign that big? I got, you know, stuff like this that needs chunking. This needs chunking. You know, all this stuff in here, all this stuff anyway needs chunking. Uh, so we're going to plane these down. So here's this drawer front. Let's measure it. It's a little less than three quarter already. And I did adjust this earlier. So we're going to start with it right there. Let's turn on the suction machine. Let's turn on the noise machine. Just strike it a little bit every time. It makes the blades closer. I forgot how loud that thing is. Holy mackerel. Rattles your ear bones. All right, we gotta start at it. Maybe one or two more.
Well, that's not perfect, but that's good enough. I could stand the rest. And that'll be all right. Let's put that one over here. Okay, so now here we got a bunch of stuff to work on. Um, let's go from easiest first. This one, I don't know what's wrong with it, other than it probably needs a hanger. And it has a little problem, maybe too. So let's replace these dowels. I wouldn't put these dowels in except uh, there's already holes there. But it is said that having those holes, having these dowels in there, tends to make it easier for cats and things to get in there. So, they don't recommend them. However, this already has them. So, I gotta cover up the holes, right? You know it's on the side, has three stories. I'm saying that one's done. This one. So there's a couple things going on with this one. One, this panel is in there, but two, it's got a single hole in a huge space. And this is so small, this is like a ren hole. Uh, I'm going to put a piece of wood in there. Right. Basically sliding this in there so that it's in there in about the right spot. This is a staple gun. I put a staple in which of those was. Now I want to put another hole in the back. So the floor is about there. So let's go a hole right there. Here and hold back there. I just I need a hanger. I'm just gonna drill a little hole through here and put a piece of wire in. There we go. Birdhouse. Okay. Next easiest one is this one. This one is a bird feeder. It just needs pieces, a couple pieces of uh, Lexa, which are seven and a quarter by four and a half.
one there. One there. Burn feeder. Done. All right, next. Let's keep going easy to easy. This one. These came without bottoms and without roofs. It's probably redwood. This is probably junk wood. So now I gotta come up with some wood for this and for the bottom. The bottom would be screwed in so that they can clean it. two pieces. So I'll be able to do this and this and this should line up like they're supposed to. All right let's put the roof on. Now you can see one's shorter than the other but that's so that it can overlap like that and be square. So I think I'm gonna hold it in the vise. One of these goes over here like a butter flush. One of these goes over here like about that. And I have my nail gun. Probably could use with shorter nails here, but we're going for it. I might as well just figure it out now, right? Okay, this has got to be screwed in somehow. Like so. Make sure that kind of works. Yep, let's do a little better on the clamp end of things. So, where's all my little stuff? Another chunk of wood. There it is. It's a fit like right there. And I can screw it in.
six and a half. So from here, three and a quarter. There we go. Clean out on the bottom. Now, I got more of those to do. And I'm going to hold off on them until later. Since they're repeats of what we did. Mahogany. There's some kind of, I don't know what it is, some kind of canisters, I think they were, because they nest. And I got the cover from one of them. But that's not what they are anymore. They are birdhouses. And what I'm thinking is, take a piece of wood, is that wide enough? Uh, you know, that is just wide enough. Take this and cut it at an angle. And that's where a sliding t bevel comes into play. Figure out what angle I want these. And just mark them. It just has to be enough to take the rain off. It's my 1999 uh, Ryobi laser circular saw. Block your ears. Gonna do sanding. Not most of it. Let's find a place I like here. Can go on here. Now this is going to need something to for screws as well. So a couple more of these. And no, I'm not going to hold them with my fingers. In the middle. Six 
six and a quarter, three and an eighth. Up and down wherever I want. All right, let's go like here. Let's mark there, um, there, bigger drill. I want to sink. Back. I'll take the skinny drill. Line these up. Do you ever wonder why these are so short? Some of these drills. It's so that if it gets away from you and starts wrapping, there's a good chance it'll pull out and turn off the power. Just in case you wanted to know. And that one. Where to hang it? Center mass, I would assume. Center mass is going to be there. Corner to the corner. There. There we go. A birdhouse. So, that's what we're doing for today. I got a few more, you know, to put together here. But these are the same as we've already done. I have a nice group of done ones. You see it? Well, I'll get you a good picture of them later. But uh, those can go for sale. Most of them will probably be 10 buck ones. But, you know, 10 bucks for a half an hour. I'll take it. I'm retired. I don't need the money anyway. I just want to get the stuff out of my basement and get the projects out of my head. So, that's it for today. If you want me to stop making birdhouses, Give me a like. I think, I think I'm done. So I think we're good there. So uh, let's see how many more times I can say ah. That'd be good. Thanks for watching. And uh, until next time, I got uh, I think I got some else to fix next time. I think I got some electronics to work on. So let's, let's see. Let's see what we come up with. Bye.